Svelte, a hopeless front-end JavaScript framework for making interactive web pages. However, Svelte brings several features to the table that provide developers with a unique experience. But to be honest, it got my respect because it is the only JavaScript framework that I enjoyed writing code with. I'll show you why in a second. But the problem is, I don't see any major advantages of Svelte that would make me choose it for future development over React and Next.js for example. The three main features of Svelte are it lets you write less code, it doesn't have virtual DOM, and it's truly reactive. Now it's true that writing less code saves time, but it doesn't always mean better. And honestly, no one needs these features in a world that has React, Vue, or Angular. And that might be the reason why we cannot see the companies who switched to Svelte in our naked eye. Now, I don't want to end up in court after this video, so I'm not here to attack Svelte. In fact, I really appreciate the work they've done so far. Anyways, before we start, consider subscribing to the channel and let's begin. I'm sorry to tell you that, but Svelte actually has no hope of getting that extra fame and destroy React, Vue, or Angular. But why? Is it sucks? Well, not at all. It's simple, easy, and so much fun to write, which is the reason why it became popular. And to prove it, let me give you an example on how to write a reactive state in Svelte. First, you open a script tag, then create the state using a normal variable. Then create the function that will make it update when needed. After that, create your button and using the on keyword, create an on click event. Then add your variable as a dynamic value using curly brackets. And since this is not a Svelte tutorial, that's enough. Back to the point, why Svelte won't make it? It looks so good and efficient. Well, the first reason is it because it is difficult to find examples of more advanced projects that are powered by Svelte. Well, they exist, certainly, but they are nowhere near as prolific as they are for React, Vue, or Angular. Also, Svelte is a very good compiler, to be honest, and it does address some of the drawbacks of React. However, I don't think its advantages are so big to destroy one of the frameworks we have today, such as React, Vue, or Angular. And as I said before, when you write an application in Svelte, it'll require less code than React, for example. But does it mean it's better? Well, less code doesn't always mean better. The only thing I really enjoyed when writing Svelte is that you don't have to export and import components. They are already exported and imported into the other components. However, Svelte claims that virtual DOM is unnecessary overhead. Although, some developers find it important because it allows you to build apps without thinking about the state transitions. But in the end of the day, it's up to you. And since Svelte is a compiler, it converts your code directly into imperative JavaScript code. So instead of doing most of the work in the browser, Svelte does its work when you build the app and it compiles it into efficient vanilla JavaScript. But what is the cons? It has a much smaller community than other frameworks no major support yet, lack of IDE support. So should you never use it? Well, don't get me wrong, it is still in its early stages and Svelte is very good and has done very well so far but I don't see it as professional as React, for example. Like React with Context API or Redux can do anything you could imagine, but Svelte cannot do that. Also, we cannot forget that Svelte has a higher satisfaction rate than React or Vue, and it is the most interesting front-end frameworks in the last three years. So in the end, you can decide whether it's worth learning or not. But we cannot argue that Svelte is good, but it doesn't have as much flexibility as React. Anyways, Svelte is way more easier to learn than React for example. If you're coming from React, then you will be shocked for how easy things is in Svelte. So will it overtake React? The answer is no, it won't for now, and probably it never will. I see it as an unreliable tool for big projects. If you're really curious about it and want to know why it is the most loved JavaScript framework in the planet, I'll leave the documentation below. Also, if you want to know the only reason you might be failed while learning to code, check out this video right here and I'll see you in the next one.